Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the unknown software exception error 0xc060007e. So if you're coming across this issue, that it's likely that there's some sort of application interfering with some address or location on your computer. So we're going to go about resolving this problem without too much of a hassle here, and we're going to jump right into it. First thing I'd suggest would be to open up the start menu, just so click on the start button one time, type in troubleshoot. Best match to go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Scroll down on the right side underneath Get Up and Running and select Windows Update, Resolve Problems that Prevent You from Updating Windows, and then select Run the Troubleshooter. This will take a moment to run, so just be patient. Okay, so once that's done, hopefully it was able to resolve any issues it found. Select Close, and then close out of here, which is just restarting your computer. Another thing you'd try would be to go ahead and open up the Start menu, just so I'll click on the Start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match to come back with Command Prompt. You want to right-click on that, and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, you want to left-click on Yes. Now I'm going to have two different commands we're going to run in this tutorial. So first one, you can type it directly into the command prompt or you can copy and paste it in, whatever you prefer. I'll also have it on the screen of the video as well. So just want to copy it from my description, go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, 
left click on edit and then select the paste to paste it in. So basically the SFC space forward slash scan now command. This should take a couple minutes to run, so just please be patient. And then we're going to have one more command also in the description of the video. We're going to run immediately after this one. Okay, so it actually was able to find some corrupt files here, which is good. I mean, good or bad, depending on how you want to look at it. So once that command's done, you want to run the second command I'm going to have in the description. So it starts with DISM, so copy from my description. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right-click on it, select Edit, and then select Paste. Hit Enter in the keyboard to run this command. Again, this should take a few minutes as well, so just please be patient.
Okay, so it should say the restore operation completed successfully. So once that's done, close out of here. I suggest restoring your computer and hopefully I would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.